Hello my friends, my name is Tim Johnson. I just want to very quickly talk about mindset in this video. And that's the mindset that you'll require, you'll have to have both to get sober and to stay sober, which I believe is the hardest part, the staying sober. The first thing you're going to need is the courage to ask for help. The most important thing, something I never did for so many years, thinking it was a weakness to ask for help. It is, in fact, the strongest and the bravest thing that you can do to surrender, finally, which is a massive relief in itself, but to ask for help. Wherever you find that help is entirely up to you, whether it be AA, NACA, Smart Recovery, groups online, friends, family, professionals, doesn't really matter. But you can't do this on your own. You need to ask for help. That's the most important thing. And sometimes you have to bridge your fears to do that, um, which I certainly had to do. So that's the first part of the mindset, asking for help. The second part is what I like to call um, the warrior mentality, if you like. Because I truly believe that any change, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's um, getting sober, staying sober, whether it's making massive changes in your life, like job, you know, career, losing weight, getting fit, whatever those changes are, it's going to be uncomfortable. Change isn't comfortable by its very nature. You know, we have to step out of what we're used to be to doing to find relief. For me, it was um, changing the way I felt constantly about myself, about the world, about everything. And um, I lied to myself for so many years um, in denial, if you like, that I had a, a problem, you know, couldn't say the word alcoholic or addict. Uh, even when I went into rehab in 2006, I, find it, I found it really difficult for those first few weeks until I was told in no uncertain terms to leave my effing ego at the door you know, otherwise I wouldn't recover. And um, I had to surrender. And I had to admit that I had a problem, you know, and, and, and that I was powerless. Uh, but even after that, you know, I was still in denial. If you look back at a couple of videos ago on the video and denial, um, you know, it was constant, it was my constant companion thinking that I could uh, make be different this time if you like you know which it never you know always was different it was always worse as I said in that video so complete honesty is integral to this mindset and that is honesty with yourself and that is complete honesty with everyone around you because by its very nature addiction you know means sneaking about and lying both to yourself and lying to other people especially those that you love in, you know, in most cases. I know I did for so many years. Um, but you have to get into the present moment now and, and, and not regret. You know, you can't live in regret because it's useless. It's past. All you can do is try and be the best you can be for those around you and those you love now. And for yourself, obviously, which is most important. You know, and that's a, that's a, a distinct change in that mindset. But that warrior mentality, not overthinking things, Stepping through fear, you know, it's, it's blooming hard because you've uh, masked all those emotions for so many years, you know, hiding behind a veil of drugs and alcohol or whatever your comfort was, whether it be food, or, you know, whatever it was, changing the way you feel, you know, changing those emotions falsely. And then they'd come back and bite you in the backside even harder because it never worked. It always got worse and worse and worse. So making those changes are going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to be an easy ride. And sometimes you have to cling on and, you know, by, for your very life, if you like, sometimes. And those bad feelings will pass. You know, there's no saying, you know, this, will, this soon will pass. And that's so true. If you hold on, things get better by the second sometimes. But they always will get better. Things will change, you know, nothing stays the same. So that mind warrior mindset um, is really important because it's a battle. You're entering a fight for your life, you know, and you have to be prepared for that. And you have to be prepared to go through some pain and some suffering because change is like that, particularly if you're dealing with old 
hurt and scars and emotions and, and, and you know, from the past or the presence or whatever it is, you know, you're going to have to deal with that. And you can't use excuses. I blame my childhood for most of uh, my drinking and using, you know, I, you know, I said it because I, I didn't have a good childhood, you know, but then I, and I blamed my mother for it. And it, I was so wrong. You know, I just used it as an excuse until you take responsibility and realize the problem lies with you. Um, you're not going to get anywhere because the problem's in here and um, you need to deal with it. And, and the way to deal with it is to ask for help and then to make the change. So that warrior mindset. And I just want to leave you with something before you start this battle or before you continue this battle. You know, and this is the sometimes, you know, I think about this. Uh, it was an interview with Muhammad Ali, the boxer. Whether you like boxing or not, he was, he was one of the greatest sportsmen of our time. You don't reach that by accident. And he was in a gym and a journalist was uh, interviewing him and he was doing sit-ups at the time. And... Um, he was whacking away at these sit-ups and the journalist asked him while he was doing them, how many do you do? And Ali turned around and looked at him. He says, I, I haven't got a clue. He said, I don't start counting till it starts hurting. You know, and that mentality, that warrior mentality, just stepping into it and stepping through that fear and uh, clinging on sometimes, um, but fighting and battling you know, because you are a warrior, if you're doing this, it's the greatest change you can ever make in your life. Whatever your change is, whether it's addiction, whatever it is, you'll need that mentality. So don't overthink things, just step straight in, you know, without putting yourself in danger, obviously, but step straight in and through them. If you overthink it, you won't do it because your mind will talk you out of it. But ask for help first. Carpe diem, seize the day today, make the changes you need to make today. Memento mori. Thank you. Much love to you all and good luck. Stay strong. Bye-bye.